Hello you guys, welcome back. In this episode, I'm going to be talking about how to hook up a PlayStation or a Xbox controller to your computer. Now, sometimes you have games that you buy either on Steam or you have it on disc or something, and it's not quite optimized for the PC, or maybe you just want to use a console you know, controller for your games on the PC, you know, whatever your reason is. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to hook it up. It's very easy to do. So, you know, it's not complicated at all, even though some people want to make you seem like it's complicated. Um, what you're going to want to do is get a program that is called um, Motion Joy Gamepad Tool. Okay, and it's the one I just opened up here. Now, you're going to go to this website to download it. It's called motionjoy.com slash download. And I'm going to go ahead and leave the link in the description so you guys can go and get it. Um, when you go in here, they will update it sometimes. So, you know, right now, the newest version is the one called 0.7.1000. Okay, testing. Um, so when you scroll down, there's going to be a lot of versions. You know, it gets older as you scroll further down. You're just going to download the top one. In, in this case, like I said, you know, uh, 0.7.1. That's the one you're going to get. It is a 32-bit and 64-bit in all. So... You know, whatever computer, whatever your computer is running on, you can just get it, download it, install it. Okay. After you've done that and open it up, it should look like this. Okay. Um, what you need to do first is you need to have a controller ready. In my case, I'm using a PlayStation controller, and you need to have a USB. Just a very simple USB. Uh, it can be the one that, that comes with your PlayStation when you get it. It's one of those regular USB. And then on the other side, you have one of these. Let's see if I can get it focused. It's very dark. But it's a very basic plug. It's the one that you use to hook up your controller to your PlayStation when you want to recharge it. Okay, it's very basic. You take this one and you stop it in your computer. Like so. And inside your joystick, like so. And there should be a little sound, okay? It says now it is hooked up. Uh, your computer might have to install the driver software for it first. Just let it finish. After that, um, when you're inside this program, you're going to go to Drive Manager after you hook up your controller. Go to Drive Manager. It's going to close down and open up again with a new window. In this one, you're going to want to go ahead and choose the one you have hooked up. In my case, it's the one called uh, port number 0003, okay? It actually has a check mark on the side here that says, you know, you can use it for motion joy. I check it off and then I say load driver. Takes a second. You're going to want to wait for it. Okay. And it actually says here it's completed. Okay. So go back to profiles. And now when you get here, you're going to want to choose, you know, Depending on what game you're playing, in my case, Dark Souls, the one I want to play for the PC, um, it's made for the PlayStation or the Xbox controller. And I know that I have an, a PlayStation controller. Doesn't matter. You can still choose the one down here. Uh, let me just go over them really quick. The three bottom ones are the ones you're going to be interested in. Well, it's basically all the presets for the different controllers you can get. Uh, the first one of the third ones from the bottom is the one for PlayStation 3. The second one is the Xbox 360 controller. And then you have a custom default where you can actually, you know, tell it which buttons should lead to what on the computer. So in case, like in like probably 90% of the cases, you won't even need to have to customize it. But in case you do, you go in there and you do it that way. Okay. Now for Dark Souls, for my example, I'm going to choose the one called Xbox 360 controller emulator. I know it's a PlayStation controller. It doesn't matter. You can still use it the same way. The, play, uh, the Xbox One has hooked up all the PlayStation buttons the same way as it is on the PlayStation if you want to play Dark Souls on the PlayStation. Don't tell me why. I don't know. But it works the same way. You check that one off here. Okay. Then you say Enable. And then if you click Vibration Testing, it's actually vibrating right now. I can, I can put it on, the, on my desktop so you can hear it. Okay. I'll test it again. It's working. So that tells you that it's hooked up and it's now working. All you got to do now is start up your game and it will work. Okay. The same way as had you opened up the game on the PlayStation or the Xbox. Um, so that's basically how you do it. Just open up your game. Don't close down this window. Okay. You need to have this program open, the Motion Joy Gamepad tool. Have it open while you play the game. Otherwise, your controller is going to get unhooked again. 
Okay, so that's basically it. There's nothing else to tell you guys. It's very simple to do. Um, if you don't know, like, if let's say you play Dark Souls. There's another issue with the game. Uh, for Like, you can't save the game unless you have it hooked up to the Microsoft Gamer uh, Games for Windows Live network. Um, I have another video where I tell you guys how to fix that issue. Go ahead and check out the description. There should be a link there for that too. Okay. So thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you guys later. Bye.